Hi, so today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on to how to set up SSH keys on your Synology NAS. For those of you who don't know what SSH keys are, is they are a way for your Mac to more easily interface with your Synology by instead of sending a password, sending a known key between the two items. That way, if it's intercepted, you do not get your password stolen, you just get the single key. And so they only have access to the single system. All right, so your first step in setting up SSH keys on your Synology NAS is to first log in to DSM. You're gonna have to make sure some settings are enabled. Go to control panel, hit advanced if you haven't already, and enable terminal. Leave this on port 22. Then we're also gonna go back and we're gonna to go to user, advanced, and enable home services. This way there is somewhere to save our SSH keys. All right, so now that we've done that, we're going to do the rest in SSH. All right, so if you're on a Mac, you're gonna to wanna to open up Terminal. If you're on PC, you're gonna to need to use a service like Putty, whatever you've been using to use SSH. All right, so I'm gonna have two screens here. My left screen is going to be the Synology. My right screen is going to be my local NAS. Basically, this is your server, and this is whatever you want to use an SSH key to connect to it. So first, I'm gonna go about logging in using SSH to my Synology. And you do that by typing SSH, your username, at your IP address. Now on our NAS, we're gonna edit the SSH config file by typing sudo vim and the path to your SSH config file shown below. So this is the actual configuration file for SSH. There are two lines we are going to comment out. As you can see, the pound signs are comments. Basically, these are pre-set up settings that can be configured by simply deleting the pound key. Since we're currently using vim, the way we're gonna edit this is first hit I to insert, delete, Hub key authorization and and authorization keys file. So now we're gonna hit escape colon WQ. That is save and quit. So now we need to restart SSH. So we're gonna go back to our NAS and go back to the control panel, go back to terminal and just turn it off and turn it back on. As you can see, we've been kicked out of the Synology because we reset the settings. Now the next step is to create SSH keys on our local machine that we're gonna be using to interface with the Synology. So as you can see on my right is my local Mac. So to generate a key, I'm gonna type in SSH keygen T RSA. RSA is the encryption settings. So we're going to want to leave it in the default directory. So just hit enter again. And here, since we're just going to be using this locally, we're not going to enter passphrase. That way we don't have to enter a password again. If you would like to be more secure, you can enter a passphrase, but every time, instead of entering your password, you're going to have to enter that passphrase. It's much more secure when you're going over the internet, but if we're just working locally, I'm willing to take the risk. So this image that I'm gonna blur out is my random fingerprint. So now we need to copy over that SSH key to our NAS. We're gonna do this by typing SSH copy ID, then your username at your IP address. So there we used SSH copy to copy over the SSH keys. Now we have a private SSH key that we keep on our local machine and a public SSH key that is kept on our NAS. So now if we go in on this side and we try to log in, you can see we do not, we no longer need to enter a password. The advantage of doing this is we don't have to use a password. However, it does come with some decreased security. So you should not be using this if you're connecting through SSH over the internet unless you're using a VPN that you've set up. I hope you find these videos helpful. 
I started making them because I was never able to find any resources online about how to do a lot of things with Synology. Let me know in the comments if there's any other videos you would like me to make. Thank you. Bye.